Having represented eight different esports organizations over a span of six years, it's hard to believe that Tarek is only 24 years old. He's gone through the highest of highs and sometimes the lowest of lows. He is a one of North America's greatest talents, and today we're going to take a closer look at his stats to see just how good Tarek is. But before we get into that, this video is brought to you by Team Razer, proud users of the Razer Black Shark V2 headset. Now, only 45 players have ever won the major, and out of those 45, only five have come from North America. In what is often regarded as one of the most exciting majors of all time, Tarek led Cloud9 on their legendary and unforgettable winning run at the 2018 E-League major in Boston. In fact, before that, Tarek had historically been poor at majors, his highest placement being the 2016 MLG Columbus major with CLG, where he finished 5th to 8th in the tournament. The stats also showed a similar story. In the two majors prior to Boston, at the E-League Atlanta major in 2017, Tarek managed an HLTV rating of 0.86 and a poor 0.62 at the ESL1 Cologne major in 2016. Tarek always had a knack for taking down North American teams, but couldn't quite prove himself against the European squads or show up at majors. But of course, that all changed at Boston. Tarek's got to go huge here. He's got a crossfire with Rush. We've got Guardian in a short position and he's exposed, but he goes down. Rush still alive, four versus three. Spotting one player, maybe two towards the other position. Now Olaf Weiss is on short, but it's a flash and he's taken down. Tarek is not done with this major yet. Here it is, Tarek! They stay alive for one more round! He was awarded the HLTV MVP medal for his performance at the 2018 E-League Major, and it's not too difficult to see why. Tarek was the IGL on Cloud9 and led his team all the way to victory at the Major. Not only that, Tarek also put out some outstanding performances. Statistically, Tarek played one of his best games in the quarterfinals against G2. From this quad clutch on Mirage. A flash in mid, that was from Connector. There's the peak, they know Apex is there, and he's just baiting. He's baiting for shocks. There goes Kenny, and it's a good trade. Somehow Cloud9 has come out okay, and Tarek pushes the issue, runs out of bullets, but the pistol does the job. Oh my god, he swapped out the AK to continue that fight. Through the smoke, there's Tarek long range, taking down MBK, and it's all on body. Pushing into the side, goes for the fight, he's gonna take one kill, he has no idea where Tarek is, and he's gonna get shut down. Quad kill here for Tarek, picking up the seventh round for Cloud9. To this, 3k on overpass. Watch their own body's gonna go down here, it's missed time, but now's the peak, it's gotta work, but blinding it sprayed down, and Tarek with the follow-up. Tarek earned a rating of 1.29, picking up 38 kills and helping his team to secure their all-important semi-final spot. Tarek also showed up during the finals against FaZe Clan. Despite the fact Cloud9 were on the back foot after losing on Mirage, Tarek put on a stellar performance on Overpass, and who can forget that third map, Inferno? Tarek will take him down as a 5v4. The Cloud9 with 40 seconds to go, and Carrigan, he can't reposition. He has the frag! He has the frag, and he gets only one! Getting aces in CSGO is rare, but getting an ace in overtime on map three in a grand final of a major is something else. Whack them all there for Olofmeister, but Guardian still in position. They managed to get there fast enough. The bot has to be prompted, and Cloud9 out of this advantage. Tarek, brave enough to just hold the bomb plant. He knows Guardian's in construction, trying to back off, trying to keep position. Caesar tags him, but doesn't frag him. Holding the angle once again, but go high as he go low. It is a dance, and now they can see multiple angles. Tarek going, takes all the Feister down. Guardian on 11 HP, raised the peaks, and he gets the angle now. Superior angle is there a defuse for the CT side. The non is jet, they're spamming the grenades, they're touching the bomb, and now it goes rain. And now the bomb is trying to defuse it again, but no! Guardian gets taken down. Absolutely unreal round from Cloud9. Tarek top fragged on both Overpass and Inferno, picking up 60 kills across two maps and earning an HRTV rating of 1.43 on Inferno. It's even more impressive if you take into consideration of the fact he did all of that as the IGL and managed to remain composed when his team were one map down. Now, after winning the E-League Major 2018, Tarek's general record at Majors did improve. Well, the ones he actually attended at least. 
he managed a third slash fourth place finish at both the Face It Major and Star Ladder Berlin in 2019. But he was benched after spending just five months on MIBR, which meant he didn't make it to the Katowice Major earlier that year. In fact, as I mentioned before, Tarek has represented eight different organizations, but the longest stint he's ever had is with Cloud9, where he spent 696 days. And they peaked on the HLTV rankings as the second best team in the world in March 2018. But from the highs also came the lows. And for a while, it seemed like post Cloud9, Tarek was gonna struggle to find success again. Having picked up just one tournament win with MIBR, Tarek was benched after just five months. His average HLTV rating during this time with the Brazilian team is 1.05. It isn't terrible, but it was far from the 1.17 average rating he earned during his time at Cloud9. However, Tarek proved that he had much more to give and more trophies to win when he joined NRG, later Evil Geniuses. He had reached second in the HLTV world rankings with Cloud9, but with EG, Tarek finally became a part of a number one team. In September and October, 2019, Tarek and Evil Geniuses took home two massive trophies, ESL1 New York and Star Series iLeague Season 8. They were named the best team in the world in the HRTV rankings and Tarek had finally picked up his first big international tournament victory since winning the major in 2018. Tarek earned a rating of 1.15 at ESL1 New York and dropped 78 frags against Astralis in the final. He picked up an incredible rating of 1.66 on Inferno as EG demolished Astralis 16-3 and proved he still had what it takes to beat the best teams in the world. Even towards the new boxes, Tarek oh! slides down the smoke, it's a double spray down play. He's done it so many times in the B-bomb type before. EG and Tarek would unfortunately go on a bit of a trophy drought after Star Series I-League Season 8. Besides winning ECS Season 8 in North America, they failed to win any tournaments until June 2020, meaning Tarek went 234 days without lifting a single trophy. His stats indicated that he wasn't quite able to frag out in the same way he used to, only managing a rating of 0.97 in 2019 and 0.95 so far in 2020. However, winning the American finals of Blast Premier Spring 2020 seemed to have revitalized both Evil Geniuses and Tarek. After going 234 days without a trophy, Tarek would go on to win another tournament just a month after Blast. EG took home first place at CS Summit 6, and Tarek put on statistically his best performance of the entire year. He earned an HLTV rating of 1.14 at CS Summit 6, as EG convincingly won the tournament without dropping a single map. As more major tournaments such as ESL1 Cologne being split into regional divisions and played online, it'll be a while for when Tarek can prove himself on the international stage again. But for now, whether you think his best days are behind him, there's no telling what the future will hold. And there we have it. What did you make of Tarek's stats? And do you think he has what it takes to help EG win more trophies? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more CSGO content.